Well, hello, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back. Jiu-Jitsu 2000 here today. I'm back. I hope you guys are doing wonderful out there. I've got an interesting video for you today. As you can see, I'm filming from inside of my truck. I normally don't do this, but it's very windy outside today. I don't know if you can see the water behind me, but the wind is is pretty heavy duty so hope you don't mind me filming this video from my truck today i want to talk about water filtration we're going to start off taking a look at the life straw this is a very popular water filter that a lot of people use and in this video today i'm going to show you a new water filter that i think might just compete with the life straw and in some ways i think that it's probably better So let's take a look. This is the Membrane Solutions Personal Water Filter. This was sent out to me for review. You can pick these up on Amazon. At the time of me filming this video, the retail price for these is about $11.99. So these are 99.9999% effective against Cryptosporidium, effective against Giardia. And the cool thing about this filter is that price is cheap and not only is it good for filtering water, making it safe to drink, but unlike the Life Straw, this one has a carbon element which will reduce chemicals, it'll reduce odor, and it'll make the water taste better. The Life Straw doesn't do any of that. This uh, carbon filter element will also remove metals, chemicals, things like that. So we're going to pull it out. There's nothing left in the box, as you can see there. So we have the filter itself. It's much smaller. This filter is 6.7 inches long. It's about a one inch diameter and it weighs around two ounces. So it's a much smaller filter than the Life Straw, but a lot of similarities. You can see it's very, very similar to the Life Straw. In fact, it looks like a knockoff of the Life Straw. There are some specs on the filter. Hopefully you can see that very well on your screen. Feel free to pause your screen if you wish to see that a little clearer or a little longer. And this filter, advertises a four-stage water filter design. A good water filter uh, makes camping so much nicer. So wow, there's a look at it. Membrane Solutions. You got a little cap here on the top. And that's very similar to the Life Straw. Look at that. Very similar. I mean, it looks almost identical. Pretty crazy. And just like the life, life Straw, instead of having a string, they have a nice little lanyard here. I like that. That's cool. And then on the bottom, just like on the Life Straw, they've got this little gate that opens up. There's a coarse filter. And the same thing applies here. You have a nice coarse filter there. And that's what they call the first stage. The first stage is a coarse filter. The second stage is a, a cotton barrier. Third stage is the carbon element that I spoke of earlier. That's the one that removes the odor, the taste, the chemicals, things like that, the metals out of the water. It doesn't take it all out, but it does reduce it and makes the water much more pleasant to drink. And then, of course, the fourth stage is the main part of the filter, and that is the hollow fiber membrane. So very cool. Now, unlike the Life Straw, uh, this one has a tighter tolerance. The Life Straw is a 0 0.2 micron a hollow fiber membrane. This one is a 0.1 micron, so it has a tighter tolerance. It's going to remove more particulars out of the water than the Life Straw will. So I'm super, super excited. So this one's very simple to use. If you had some water, you put the water in a cup, you put the filter in, and you drink the water out of the cup, just like that. Or you can drink from the source directly. You just put that thing in your mouth and drink the water straight through. One thing that I'll make note of right here is on the Life Straw, you see I have a little hair tie right here. You could do the same thing here. What the hair tie does is it gives you an option for another added filter element, which is like your bandana, right? So you have that coarse element already, but adding another pre-filter 
definitely helps extend the life of the filter. So you don't have all the sediment and all the debris coming into the filter. So that makes this thing last longer. Now at the price point for what they're asking, $11.99, I think this is a fantastic option. Now people always ask, well, what is the life expectancy out of these filters? The Life Straw advertises 4,000 liters. That's 1,000 gallons. The flow rate on this is very good because the, the filter element is a little, uh, little looser tolerances. This one is 1,500 liters and that's about 396 gallons. I think in a lot of ways, at least on paper, this looks like a better water filter to me. I just love that the, that the fact that they add the carbon element, it's gonna make this thing nice. You can buy these one at a time. You can get them in a pack of two. I think there's like a pack of four. You just have to look in the description box down below. I'll put links to where you can find this. And here is some contact information in case there's anybody out there that wants to give them a call or shoot them an email. And they're also on Amazon. Let's try this water. I'm gonna just dip that down in the water, take the lid off here, and we'll see what this water tastes like. Takes it a second to get going. That's not bad at all. Not bad. The water does not taste bad. Let, let me try the Life Straw. I'm checking for flow rate and I'm also checking for taste. So let's try the Life Straw. Takes it a second because I'm not getting any water yet. These are dry filters, they've been sitting. Okay, now I'm starting to get some water. I can taste the water. On this one, I couldn't taste the water. It tasted really good. On this one, I can taste the, the water. The flow rate is a lot slower on this Life Straw. Yeah, I can definitely tell a difference. This is a Life Straw that I've had a while, so it might be ready to be replaced. It's because the flow rate is, is terrible. And they're normally a lot faster, I'll just say that. Flow rate on this one is absolutely fantastic. Yeah, I don't taste anything in the water. It's, it tastes really good actually. And you can see there's like a little bit of sediment and stuff in that water. Little floaties in there. Now I'm reading the manual here and it says that this one has back flushing ability. Now to do that, draw clean water through the device, then blow that clean water back through the mouthpiece. This will help clear the membrane surface sediment and particulars. Repeat this three to five times. Clean water can also be black back flushed through the mouthpiece by using a pressurized water source. So you could use a faucet or a hose. For best results, back flush in pulses. After back flushing, shake out the residue water and allow it to air dry. Do not place in an oven or a microwave. And then store the personal water filter in a cool, dry place. So let's give that a try. There, I did it once. twice three times so back flushing is complete so one thing that I would highly recommend when it comes to back flushing is if you've got household bleach available put two drops per liter or US quart in your container that you're going to use for your back flush water and back flush that bleach water through this hollow fiber membrane. 
What that does is it will kill all the microbiological organisms that exist in the filter that you can't back flush out. Then when you shake out the residual water from the filter and let it dry, everything is dead in there. Because in the past, I've taken water filters out and I've stored them after using them and I did not do that. And the next time I took them out and I sucked the water through, I could, the water tasted terrible. That was because all the junk that was still alive in the water filter, even though it wasn't harming me, it tasted terrible. So that's a good tip for back flushing. Now from here, I just let everything dry and then we'll be good to go. So folks, I wanna say thank you for joining me today on this video of the Member Solutions Personal Water Filter Straw. I like it. I think it's on par with Life Straw. Life Straw has the name, you know, they're out there in the market. I think something like this is probably just as good, if not better. I love the fact that it's got a tighter tolerance. Um, the Life Straw has a longer lifespan, and that's because they don't have a carbon element. The carbon element is really the part that, that goes bad on these. It's not the, the hollow fiber membrane itself. So when the flow rate gets kind of slow like this one is, it's probably time to replace it. But I still love my life straw, but I think there's room for this one for, you know, to compete with the life straw. I, I love the price point. With all that being said, folks, thank you again for stopping by. I hope you got some good, useful information out of this video. I'll put a link in the description box down below where you can find this. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a beautiful day. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.